criteria for selection of beneficiaries for the conditional cash transfer program is the absolute uh, poverty line. Mining of households from the National Social Register is done based on that uh, criteria. And this eligibility criteria corresponds to households that fall within the first to sixth decile of the National Social Register. So all households that fall within the first to sixth decile of the National Social Register are considered eligible for conditional cash transfer. And it is on the basis of this criteria that poor and vulnerable households are mined from the National Social Register for enrollment into conditional cash transfer program. Having mined eligible poor and vulnerable households from the National Social Register, the enrollment process actually starts with disaggregation of the data of poor and vulnerable households into states, local government, wards and uh, communities and then down to the smallest entity which is the um, households and then individuals. And uh, this aggregation is done for planning purpose to establish the personnel, the resources that will be required for um, carrying out the enrollment process which is a state level um, activity. This stage is followed by a sensitization phase which includes sensitizing the leadership of various communities as entry point of gaining accessibility and uh, acceptance of the program. It's established that there are various interventions being carried out in the communities so it's very critical to the program that the communities are well sensitized and they are aware of the aims and the objectives of the cash transfer um, program for smooth implementation. So the first aspect is to carry out sensitization and this is done by staff at the state and local government um, level. They are responsible for directly implementing at the communities and before the enrollment process even begins the cash transfer facilitators would have been trained to effectively implement at the community level. Then right after the sensitization um, phase, the beneficiary orientation and data capture is carried out. The beneficiary orientation introduces the first meeting of beneficiaries of the cash transfer program with the cash transfer facilitators. And, uh, just prior to the beneficiary orientation, during the sensitization process, there's a process of disclosing the poor and vulnerable households list as a form of sensitization to the communities. And this is done to validate the list having been mined from a national social register. The beneficiaries are sensitized on their roles as beneficiaries of the program. It gives um, a platform for some form of orientation to prepare the beneficiaries of what is coming ahead. 